Hi guys! So I just filled my Dollar Tree haul and I'm here again to do another small haul and I don't know, I kind of want to show you a few extra things that I got but this is mostly, uh, I'm going to talk about Morphe and I finally got the chance to go in Burbank, California to because I live like two hours away and family's there close by um, so I was able to finally go to the store and let me tell you, it's a small store but when you get inside, you're like, ah, oh. <laughs> it's crazy. Let me tell you, you see all this shelf, you probably see it from their Instagram account, but all this shelf full, full, full of makeup brushes. Like I was very overwhelmed with all those brushes. I didn't know where to start, but I knew what I wanted. I just wanted to try a couple of brushes. So I used these two today. So this one is kind of dirty and it's a white natural bristle brush they're both natural bristles this one is the m433 morphe brush and this is um i don't know if it's, this is similar to the 217 from mac well, now it's dirty because i used it with one of the shadows sorry about that um but it's nice and fluffy feels really good and this is good for the crease and for blend as well and I'm really liking it. I, I really, really like it. It's a perfect size for my eye. It's really nice for defining, um, defining and blending at the same time the outer part of the eye. So I really like this brush a lot and I didn't have anything similar. Um, this one I did have something similar from uh, I think Crown Brush. Let me, let me see if I can find that. Or is it? Oh, this is the baby here. Actually, this is way smaller. I thought it was going to be similar. I didn't even compare it. So this was the crown brush that I use all the time. It's a small detail brush. So compared to this, the Morphe, it's way smaller. So I did want an extra detail brush. So I'm happy that they're different because I thought they were going to be very, very similar. But I did want a new detail brush because of the inner part, you know, sometimes the inner corner. I like to have this small one. Uh, to be more precise so i'm really happy this one does not have a name or number on it but i think uh, it's a natural bristle because i specifically asked for natural bristle brushes and it's really nice it's soft and um, i don't know if it's starting to i already washed it once it's kind of shedding a little bit but not to the point that you know it's gonna go all over your eyes so they're really nice the the white one didn't shed at all yet so I hope they stay like that. I hope they're good enough. And maybe I can go pick up more sometimes in the future. Now let me get to the good part, which is the eyeshadows that I picked. I picked uh, five of them right here. So I'm gonna show you all the colors that I got in a second. Uh, I also got the palette. This is the 12 palette, I think, 12, 10 palette. Let me just take the thing off. And I was so surprised to see this one when I got it in my hand because I told you I want the medium size palette. I think they have the little one, this one, and they have the bigger one. I'm not sure how many shadows goes in there. But this one is super heavy. And reason why, there's a big mirror in there. And I wasn't, I didn't really pay attention, but there's a big mirror. And there is 12 spaces for the eyeshadows in this palette. I think it's heavier because of the mirror, but it's actually made really, really well. It locks really well, and the size, I think it's perfect to take it, you know, traveling with you, even if the mirror, you have to be careful. But it's made really well. It's not cheap packaging. This is very hard plastic, and it feels really good. Okay, so. the first color I got, and I used all... I'm gonna tell you which one I used, but I used a lot of them um, that I got in my eye look today and i have to say they're really really nice and they're nice and pigmented totally worth the two dollar mark on this one one they're... thing i wanted to mention when i went there as you can see they're always out of stock of a lot of eyeshadows when uh you see when you want to do a purchase online and same thing there there were a lot of shadows out of stock and i was disappointed because i was like oh i wish i could get that one but they don't have it so they had them covered the one they were out of stock i couldn't even swatch them because you know it said on top out of stock and I was disappointed but I did find some that I didn't have in my collection that are kind of unique this is like a basic uh, beige color this is the number 02 and this is the swatch this one is a little powdery but not too bad I 
I think it's more um, it's more matte. I thought it was a little satin, but no, it's a matte color. The pink that you see on my eyelid is actually this one right here. Throwing away the packaging because it's kind of nerve wracking. This is uh, the number 67 Petal. It's called Petal. And it's a beautiful dual chrome and it's pink and, and peach at the same time. I'm gonna swatch it out. You see how beautiful this is? I didn't have anything like this in my collection so I was very happy to have this. It's a beautiful, beautiful dual chrome pink and peach. I don't know if it shows truly on my hand. But this one is the color for... Why some of them have names and some of them have only numbers? Hmm. As I was saying, it's the number 14. Okay, this is a beautiful, um, like, burnt orange, I will say. Oh, I can already picture this all over my crease. Ooh. Oh my goodness, look at this baby. So beautiful. Red. This is the number 65. Similar to my nail polish. It's a little more sheer than the other one. No, maybe not. I think it's enough. <laughs> you don't want it more pigmented than this. It's a nice bright orangey red. Okay, And the last one I got, it's more of a taupey brown. I'll describe this. And this is more satin shimmer. It's not really shimmery. Let's see. I didn't swatch it on my hand, but I did apply it today, this one on my crease. This is this one is a name. It's called New Moon. New Moon number 70. It's a nice taupey brown. It's a beautiful color. This is like an everyday color. This one is more satin. Yes, definitely. What a weird place to swatch today. Oh, it's more like a cooler brown taupey color. It does not have any purple in it. More like a brown bronze, I'll say. The ones that I use today I think I used, what did I use? I think I used the red a little bit on my upper crease too. But the ones that I used more today was this one in the brow bowl, of course. Uh, the pink one all over the lid and the brown one in the crease. I'm going to list them all down below anyway, the numbers and whoever of those has the name. So you guys can uh, figure out which one. In order of what I show them, I will put them in order. Um, down below too so you can reference to them if you're interested in any of these shadows right here. Uh, I still have seven spots to fill in this palette and maybe in the future we'll put place an order or I'll be there again I don't know but I'm really happy with these and definitely um, put them to good use for sure. And that was all for my Morphe brushes purchase. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.